Hello, I'm the Reverend Mary Koppel from St. Thomas Episcopal Church. I come to you today from our courtyard. I thought that I would share with you a, another psalm. This one we usually hear in the last service of the day during Compline, Psalm 91. We only hear a portion of it usually at Compline, but I thought I would share the whole thing with you. The reason we hear this psalm during Compline is because it is so comforting. And certainly we need that comfort right before we go to sleep, something that will help us put our minds at ease and help us to relax. These can be stressful times, that's for sure. But we put our trust in God. We follow Jesus. We look to him for guidance, for strength and help. I hope that this psalm speaks to you today, comforts you in some way, strengthens you to do the good work that God has prepared for you to do. You who live in the shelter of the Most High, who abide in the shadow of the Almighty, will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. For he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night or the arrow that flies by day or the pestilence that stalks in the darkness or the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord your refuge, the most high your dwelling place, no evil shall befall you, no scourge come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands, they will bear you up so that you will not dash your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the adder, the young lion and the serpent you will trample underfoot. I will protect those who protect who know my name. When they call to me, I will answer them. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue them and honor them. With long life, I will satisfy them and show them my salvation. It's good news. God is with us. Have a wonderful day.